Order. Senator Waters. Thanks, Mr. President. My question is to the Attorney General, uh, Senator Brandis. This morning, the government introduced its bill to stop Australians holding the Environment Minister to account when he has broken environmental laws. On my right. Are you introducing this bill to stop any challenge to the Minister's approval of the Shenhua coal mine in the Liverpool Plains and to stop any challenge to the Minister's upcoming decision on Great Barrier Reef dredging and dumping to expand the Abbott Port coal port? Uh, just a moment, Senator Brandis. I, I don't know whether you heard the entire question. I just I missed a portion. Could I just ask you what was the preface to your question? I got the tail end. What was the preface to your question? Thanks, Mr. President. I too could hear Senator O'Sullivan very loudly. Um, my question was: uh, Are you introducing this bill to stop any challenge to the Th minister's approval of the Thank Shenhua you. I've coal got the mine or to the Abbott Point coal port expansion? I am. Thank you, Senator. Attorney General, Senator Brandis. Uh, no, Senator Waters. We're not. That's absolutely not the reason we're introducing the bill. What we're introducing the bill to do is to stop people who want to prosecute a political cause rather than a legitimate legal cause from using the courts as a political vehicle. And we know that that's what they intend to do because they've told us. Greenpeace, what if other, other, other environmental radical activist groups have published a document about destroying Australian infrastructure. Right. This is what they've said. Let me read it to you. The strategy, they say, our strategy is to disrupt and delay key projects and infrastructure. And they set out the six elements of the strategy, the first of which is to challenge key infrastructure developments through litigation. And they elaborate on the point. They say, and I'm reading from their document, their declaration of war against the Australian economy. One, mount legal challenges to the approval of key ports, <coughs> mines and rail lines. Two, run legal challenges that delay, limit or stop major infrastructure projects. That is the declaration of intent. That is the declaration of war against the Australian economy, and we intend to stop it. And I tell you what, Senator Waters, you should hang your head in shame as a senator representing Queensland. I wonder when this is the last time you visited central Queensland, because if you had done so, you would have found the despair, the despair and the sense of hopelessness among people in Rockhampton, in Mackay, in Gladstone, in Emerald, in places like that as a result of the stopping of the Carmichael Mine project, which over the life of the project would have brought 10,000 jobs to that region of Queensland. And you're happy about that, Senator Waters. Shame on you. Thank you, uh, Senator Brandis. Order. On my right as well. On my left, Senator Stirl. Senator Waters, supplementary question. Yes, thanks, Mr. President. And on that very point, Senator, are you aware that Adani has admitted in court that it grossly exaggerated its own projected jobs figures, saying that its project would not, in fact, create 10,000 jobs, but instead seven times less that? When will your government stop repeating the lies of Adani? And given that there is still no finance for this project and the Queensland Treasury has described it as unbankable, when will you get a real plan for Queensland jobs, like the renewable energy jobs of the future? Order on my right. On my right. Order. Senator Canavan. Senator Bernardi. Attorney General. Well, Senator Waters. Our plan for Queensland jobs, just as our plan for jobs across Australia, is to grow the economy. To grow the economy, and you've just heard the Minister for Employment speaking about the 336,000 jobs, new jobs that have been created in the last two years Senator under the Cameron. Abbott government. We want to see that happen in Queensland as well, and that's why the Carmichael Mine project is so important to Queensland, in particular to Central Queensland. This is what Mr Keith de Lacey, Mr Goss's treasurer, said in this morning's Courier Mail, Senator. Green activism has increased the cost of developing a mine by up to ten times. I agree with everything the federal government is doing. That's Mr de Lacey, the treasurer in a successful state Labor government, the government of Mr Wayne Goss, who agrees with everything we are doing, and so should you, Senator Waters. But
but you're more concerned with ideological crusades Thank than you, workers' Thank you, Minister. Jobs. The time for answering the question has expired. Senator Waters, a final supplementary question. Yes, thanks, Mr President. Minister Hunt this morning has backed away from right. language about vigilante litigation and, in fact, refused to use this phrase. Is this because your government has realised that calling Australians who love our environment vigilantes is not such a good idea? And do you agree with Minister Hunt? Or do you agree with the Prime Minister, who thinks that farmers, traditional owners, mums and dads, conservation and community groups who want our environmental laws upheld are vigilantes? Attorney General. Senator Waters, every man and woman on the coalition bench loves the environment. And I accept, by the way, Senator Waters, that you love the environment. And I even accept that the Australian Labor Party loves right. the environment. It's a question of how you treat them. Um, it's a um, question right. of how you deliver. The EPBC Act, the EPBC Act, the most comprehensive set of environmental laws that the, uh, the Australian Parliament has ever passed, is of course a, the work of the Howard government. But there is a provision of the EPBC Act, section 487, which has been taken advantage of, Senator not Cameron. by the good, solid citizens to whom you refer, but by the sort of people who have the high to put out a document like this, stopping the Australian coal industry, and declare their intention to use the courts as a political tool rather than for the legitimate resolution of disputes between citizens. They are uh, vigilantes, and we're going to put a Thank stop you, to it. Thank you, Attorney General.